Freud's work on dreams began in 1887 when he was seeing a number of young women who suffered from what was then called hysteria, a puzzling complex of symptoms that ranged from aches and twitches to complete paralysis. He grew to believe his patient's symptoms were elaborate defenses against the pain of long-forgotten psychic shocks. Freud treated them unsuccessfully with hypnosis, but when patients spontaneously began describing their dreams, he was intrigued. Eventually, Freud became convinced of the role that dreams could play in revealing hidden trauma. He brought me a box. What was in the box? I was very much afraid to open it. When Freud and a patient were working together to interpret a dream, he asked the patient what the patient could remember, which is called the manifest content of the dream. He then asked the patient to sort of associate to each of the elements of the dream, and that simply meant to say everything that came to mind in connection with both the dream as a whole and to each particular detail of the dream. Freud's interpretation of the meaning of dreams was based on his larger view of human nature. He saw us as basically selfish animals driven by aggressive urges and the desire for pleasure. We learn how to repress our animal impulses as we grow up in order to get along in society, but we never totally conquer our primitive selves. <laughs> 